Hi sewing friends, welcome to my sewing room. My name is Beth and if you're new, welcome. Today I'm doing a little spring cleaning in the kitchen and found the old pot holders and thought I should make some new ones. So it's a little bit of out with the old, in with the new, and I'm going to use my old hand crank singer sewing machine and have a peaceful little time of sewing. Let's get started. For my first pot holder, I'm starting out with some really small scraps, some really pretty fabrics, and one piece of insole bright that's nine inches square. And first I pressed all of my little scraps and the larger piece there is going to be the center of my new pot holder. I squared it up here and I'm going to work around that cute little piece of fabric with some scraps. I chain pieced them all together and then I started adding them in groups of four and I didn't need to add too many together to get my piece wide enough to surround my cute little apple and pear fabric there. After getting a few chunks of fabric sewn together, I'm going to now trim them and the first one I trimmed to about three inches to surround that center piece. Sewing together scraps and making everything fit together is my kind of puzzle.
when my piece was just about the right size, it's a little bit bigger than my Insel Bright, I found a backing fabric and I'll be cutting this just a little bit bigger than the pot holder because I'll be quilting it and I uh, want it to have a little excess in case I need it. added just a couple of pins here and now I will be quilting some lines. I did wonder how my hand crank sewing machine would do with these three layers without a walking foot but it did just fine and I'll put three uh, quilting lines going each direction. After getting those quilting lines in, I'm going to trim my little pot holder here before I add a binding. I pulled a yellow binding out of my binding drawer. I have a drawer that's for leftover pieces of binding. This is two and a half inches wide that I pressed in half. And I'm beginning on the back. I have the raw edge next to the raw edge. And in the middle of one of those sides, I'm going to fold down that first end. And I'll begin sewing just right after that um, right angle fold that I added there. Because when I get to the end, I'll be tucking the end of my binding into that fold. I got down to the end I stopped before the edge of the pot holder I stopped about a quarter inch and I pivoted and sewed off the corner I've done this many times on my channel um, if you look up how to put on binding there'll be more details and rather than cut the thread I just pulled it out a little bit and began right there at the fold and I'll do the same thing all the way around and it worked out fine not to cut the thread just to leave it, um, you know, I pulled it out just a little bit and then I started sewing to save the thread. When I got to that fold at the beginning of my binding, I cut the last bit of binding so it would fit in there and I will be sewing over all those layers and then when I turn my binding to the right side, all the raw edges will be inside.
I turned that binding to the front side of my pot holder and I pinned it down and now I'm going to top stitch all the way around. This is such a cute little pot holder. I think I need to make some more. Thanks for joining me today, and I'll see you next time.